and then E, Y, S to scale, and then zero on my numpad to scale up to zero. And I will also go ahead and make sure this little uh, button right here is on so that the vertices will uh, combine together because I don't want there to be two vertices right there. So we'll go ahead and hit G and then make sure this lock is on and make sure the lock is set to vertex. So now we can lock onto vert vertices. So now when we do that, we can hit G to move it around and then just right click and uh, left click. Sorry. And now both of our vertices are the same vertice. Uh, and now we can go ahead and just scale that down. We can R Z to rotate on the Z axis and move it about there. Um, and we'll do the same thing on the other side, R Z or we can hit R Z uh, negative. Well, we just rotate it negative. We can just rotate it to negative degree. Uh, there we go. Something about right there. Doesn't have to be perfect just from far away. I'm not liking the way this is looking. So we'll go ahead and, and I'll, no, I'll delete this bottom one rather. And snowflakes kind of have this double layering, so I'll get rid of that one too. We can just duplicate this, Shift D, scale it down like that. Make sure that's not clipping out of the edge there. And uh, I also duplicate this and put these on all the ed other edges as well. About right there, Shift D, move it to this side, G to move, of course, and this one on the top as well. We got a little bit of a snowflake going on there. We hit Shift D once again, scale this up, make that a bit bigger. Um, maybe I want to flip this one upside down. Can I get with, can I get away with that? I'm, oh, I keep doing that. Uh, don't want don't want to hit all the layers on at the same time. <laughs> That's always confusing. Uh, no, I don't like that. We'll do I'll, I'll undo that. Undo that. Undo that. Yeah, there we go. All right. So now we have a little bit of, of, of stuff going on here. I can go ahead and add in some support. We can get like I said, I got rid of that mirrored plane. Go ahead and scale this uh, S Y. We can turn uh, turn uh, magnet off. S Y S X to scale on the X axis. And then RZ. So now we have a straight line going all the way through our our snowflake here. I want to make sure that this only goes about right there. So now we have a connection between all of those points there. And now we can just go ahead and rotate this and duplicate it all the way across. So we have support for all of these uh, support for all of these uh, all these edges here. All right, so I've decided that I want to actually with this uh, inner loop here, the second one, I want to go ahead and hit tab to go in edit mode and loop cut every single one of these uh, edges here, right? And give this a bit more of a design. We can go ahead and select each one of those edges that we just loop cutted, loop cut it, and then we'll hit S to scale that down like that. Now it's looking much more like a snowflake. We can go ahead and scale that up with S, and we'll do the same thing with this uh, this outermost ring here. We'll go ahead and, and loop cut each one of these, and I actually want to I want to loop cut loop cut this one three times. So we'll uh, scroll twice to get three cuts there. Do the same thing on each side here. And now we'll select the two on the outside, so not the middle one, the two on the outside uh, of each one of these, and we'll hit nope, and we'll hit S to scale them inwards or outwards. We can do outwards. Eh, I kind of like outwards, to be honest with you. Um, we can do both variations, to be honest with you. So I'll go ahead and I'll just I'll just do we'll do that one, and then we'll just uh, hit B to box select all this. Hit uh, S uh, Shift D move it over and then we can just grab those vertices and then pull them out and then scale this down a bit yeah I like both of them so we'll do that and for the second version I'll also get rid of these little this little sharp pieces here or maybe we can just rotate them yeah we'll rotate them like that oh that's nice yeah I like that okay maybe I'll you know what I'll, I'll do I'll do that with this one too as well because I think it looks a bit too sharp like a shuriken right now so um yeah, 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 I like that. All right, that looks pretty sweet. All right, so those are our two snowflakes. We can do more variations, of course, um, but I'm not going to do that many for today's story. You can do as many as your heart is content. Just make sure you have all of these different, you know, I'm going to do the same thing with this inner one right here. Um, just make sure you have the snowflake like uh, like like uh, 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 mesh before you start, um, you know, making them the actual particles. Because you can go ahead and look up some pictures of snowflakes, which sounds kind of silly. Look up pictures of snowflakes, but um, you can definitely go ahead and do that to to get them as accurate as possible. I want to make sure none of these edges are peeking through our actual snowflake. So make sure those are all there, uh, and we'll go ahead and we'll scale them. This kind of looks like a pentagram now, which is not. What I was going for so can we something like that instead yeah that looks much better okay so now we can go ahead and hit uh, B to box select this and then we'll hit join 
and then we do the same thing with this one over here uh, b to select everything and then join so now we have two different snowflakes here uh, go ahead and we will move these to the center there we go i'll call this one uh i'll call this one snowflake one such such a special name and then i'll call this one you guessed it you guessed it snowflake two. Oh yes I knew you didn't even see that coming. I know you didn't. But we're gonna go back to the first uh, layer here. Select our plane. I hit five to go back out of uh, to back out of orthographic mode. And we'll head select our plane, and then we will go ahead and change the object. Uh, actually, we, we need to do something. We need to do something. We need to select both of these. Hold down shift, and then hit uh, go to create. No, not create. Uh, we go to relations. Hit new group, and then we'll call this snowflakes because if you have more than you can't have more than one object to select so you have to make a group so if you have another one let's say you have like a, a, another one of these and you you know you, you you got rid of all this stuff in the middle here and this is your second snowflake whatever if you no matter how many snowflakes you need you you have you need a group so we'll go ahead and make a group put that uh select back select our plane again go to group here in the in the left hand side the right hand side panel of particles and select snowflakes now we have our snowflakes right there as you can see we have all those bad boys all nice and good good um and i also want to go ahead and add in instead of just some snowflakes i do want a circle or two so we'll go ahead and we'll add in a uh, uh cube and we'll make this cube a um a, we'll get this cube a subdivision surface modifier and we'll uh, we'll just subdivide it once, and we'll hit apply, and then uh, we'll go to tools and set the shading to smooth. So now it's uh, smooth shading. We don't need it to be too high res since they're going to be from far away anyway and pretty small. So we'll, we have that, and that looks good. I want to go ahead and give these all the color of white. Um, so that looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and do something like that. I, I'm going to go to cycles render for this as well. So we'll go ahead and hit use nodes for uh, for that as well so now we have a, a white color I don't want it to be stark white we'll give it a little bit of a tint of blue something like that hex value is uh, d8 d a a e0 if you want to take a look at that uh, so we'll go ahead and go back to the first layer now you can see our snowflakes are that we have to add that circle to the group I my mistake okay so we'll select all these again and we'll hit uh, add to act well not add to active we will we'll select this one and then we'll go to uh, we'll go to groups here, which is somewhere, I can never remember where it is. We'll just go ahead and, uh, set this group. Well, we'll go ahead and add, no. All right, so this is how we do it. I, I, I always forget how to add things to groups. So we'll go ahead and hit B to box select everything. And we'll make sure we hold down shift. And the last thing we select is part of the group we want to add it to. So we'll right click that and then we'll hit add to active group and then snowflakes. And now our ball is part of that uh, group. I'll change this to snowflake three. Uh, and now we can go back to our scene, and now we have the balls uh, with the snowflakes. So that's nice. Those are much too big, so we'll scale this down with uh, S to scale, of course, and then that looks pretty good to me. So we'll go ahead and rotate these by hitting rotation and global. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I want to I also use the scale feature to scale these down and make sure random size is turned almost all the way up. Um, and to rotate these, we can go ahead and hit rotation, and then we'll hit dynamic. We'll change. We'll change the. We'll change the. Um, we'll change the 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 random value right here so that they wiggle a little bit. We also want them to kind of uh, to kind of flow. These are much too big, as you can tell. But just so you can see, uh, go ahead and rotate them. Make sure phase is turned up a little bit so they do rotate instead of just being uh, stagnant. You can see we have a little bit of. Um, a little bit of uh, uh, shaking, that's because of the Bernoian. You can turn that down if you want, so they're a bit more smooth. I think I'll turn them to two instead, maybe something like that, so they don't shake as much. Uh, that looks pretty good, and the angular velocity is what's going to help them rotate. So if you want them to rotate while they fall, you can see if I turn them up, they rotate a lot. So I just have them rotate ever so gracefully, so they twirl and, and shine. And, uh, something like that, maybe. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. And we'll go ahead and, of course, we'll scale these down because this is much too big. Uh, maybe 0 0.012, maybe? 0 0.012. Those are kind of big, but it's, you know, not supposed to be super realistic, just so we can see the snowflakes at least. Um, we'll go ahead and, and we'll actually change my in frame to 500, which is kind of long, but I want to see the snow because it's beautiful.